Well, there is a special family friendly event coming up Thanksgiving weekend at Dave and Buster's. Proceeds benefit Make-A-Wish and Children's Hospital of Wisconsin. To tell us more about Wishes in Wonderland, we are joined by Tammy Flynn from Elegance Salon and Spa and Lisa McDonald from Metro Parent Magazine. Good morning to both Hi. of you ladies. Good morning. So this is, uh, Tammy, I'll start with you. The fourth year that you guys have been yes. putting this on, it's becoming a hugely popular event mm -hmm. and really a great way to kick off the Christmas season. Tell me about it. It is. This is the fourth annual Wishes in Wonderland at Dave & Buster's. Um, I can't say enough about Dave & Buster's being such a community participant. They open their doors on Sunday, December 1st to everyone coming in to having unlimited food, unlimited games. Um, they're photographed with Santa Claus, arts and crafts, and it's really just building the community and bringing so many different calibers of people together. I think a moment ago we were just kind of talking about how in the years past we've had everyone from the Red Hatters in our our community coming um, to moms and dads and aunts and uncles. So really an event for kids from four to 104. Um, it fits every demographic and it's just a lot of fun to come out 100% of those proceeds of those $10 go back to the Make-A-Wish Foundation and Children's Hospital. So amazing in that that there are no administrative costs. And you guys do a lot to give back to these local charities. Lisa, uh, I understand that Metro Parent is creating a special area just for the especially young kids this year. Yes, we are hosting a preschool toddler area and we are thrilled to be a partner of this organization because it's really a great event that gives back to our community and to the children. And Tammy, this is a great way to kind of kick off that <laughs> Christmas season. It is Thanksgiving mm -hmm, weekend yes. on the tail end and uh, for for 10 bucks to be able to go in there and play all the games that you want <laughs> yes. you, can, you pay up front and then you don't have to worry about right the any rest. of that and that's including obviously your breakfast your photograph with santa claus friend photography does an amazing job of that it also includes from pixology they do art projects arts and crafts um this year espn radio will be our mc and they will be broadcasting the football game live what i can say is that i know that it's over thanksgiving weekend but what a great way as family is heading back home give ten dollars to charity come out at eight o'clock or nine o'clock in the morning eat some breakfast and then head back home if you've come into town for over the weekend. Plus, I do have to say, though I love the Packers, there is a break. They play on Thursday, so they won't be playing on Sunday. Because a lot of times if there is a game <laughs> on a Sunday, they will cross out all the activities right, today, but you don't right. have to worry about that this time around. Right, so it's very, very nice um, that the Packers will be playing earlier in the week so everybody can just come out and enjoy family and friends and giving back to the community. All right, Tammy, yes. Lisa, thank you both so much for coming to see us this morning. Okay, and they can check out everything at eeventsmilwaukee.com. You can also purchase tickets right at Dave & Buster's or at Elegance Salon & Spa, and I think you guys will have all that up on your link, right? We will, and here's the details of the event. It is Sunday, December 1st, 9 a.m. to noon at Dave & Buster's over there in Wauwatosa, the fourth annual Wishes in Wonderland. Tammy just talked about where you can find some of the details. We have put that link for you nice and convenient up on our website, the link section of TMJ4.com.